Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. Today's video is a monthly sheet load showcase where I share with you all of the cards that my team of collaborators has created for the month. And it also includes our June guest artist. In front of me is this month's printable and the first set I created. If you want more information on how to download or how I made them, make sure to check out the description box for the debut and process videos. After today's video, if you're interested in finding out more about one or a few of the sets you see today, also make sure to check out the description box for links to the team members' sites. I know that if you haven't already, they would love for you to stop by, see what they created, and leave them some love. And don't forget, if you ever want to show us your sheet load, I have a video linked below that gives you those updated guidelines, and make sure if you share online to use the hashtags at the top of the printables. Let's go ahead and take a look at everybody's cards, but before we do, I have a special invitation for you. It is almost time for the June 2024 Sheet Load of Cards Live, and I would love it if you could join my crafty friends and I for an afternoon of sheet load creating and chatting. This is going to take place on Saturday, June 22nd at 2.30 p.m. Central. You can set a reminder at the link in the description box or at the card in the top right of the screen now. Hope to see you there! Up first is the June 2024 guest artist, Jessica of Paper Ink Stamp. For her set this month, she has showed us how to convert the sheet load of cards to use European size paper, which I am in love with the school and the little grid paper that she has used for her cards. Make sure to check out her video and subscribe to her channel if you're not already. Sandy, who shares over on Instagram as at Stamp with Sandy, created a set of eight birthday cards with this month's sheet load. I am loving those papers, especially the little landscapes or scenes she has split between those three pieces. Teresa from the Fresh and Renewed with Teresa channel here on YouTube created a set of beachy cards. I love all of the different shell ephemera and those fun pattern papers. Yvette of the Yvette Olea Creates channel, and also one of my guests at the upcoming Sheet Load Live, used some patriotic papers to create a set of birthday cards with the June 2024 Sheet Load of Cards. It's fun to see those papers used in a little bit of a different way. And speaking of Sheet Load Live guests, up next is Amalia of the Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia channel, who will also be joining us on Saturday. She has created a fun set of birthday cards. I love her sentiment and those flowers on that background paper. Ashley of the Mint Twist Cards channel has once again created a sheet load of sheet loads. She has such a wide variety of embellishments and themes and papers here. It was fun to watch her put these together. Beth who shares here on YouTube at the Bourbon Creek Crafts channel, made a couple adjustments to this month's sheet load. First of all, she used two different pattern papers on the little square, and instead of making folding cards, she actually made some thank you postcards to go with online orders. Such a great idea. Carmen of the Choose Joy with Carmen YouTube channel created a set of bright and cheery birthday cards this month. One thing she also did was add some extra matting. Make sure to check out her video to get more details. Up next is Chelsea of the Creative Chelsea YouTube channel, and for this month's set, she also used some landscape kind of scenery paper, and I especially love how she has added a ribbon there on the front for a little extra embellishing. Danny of the Danny's Dreams channel has created a set of adorable donut cards this month. I love those cute little focal points, and just like Beth, she has used different papers for those strips on her matted square. Such a fun touch. 
And last, but certainly not least, is Lisa, who shares over on Instagram as at scrapbookgirl. She has created a set of patriotic-themed cards with adorable little hippo images. Aren't those so fun to see in one place? I know I love it. And if you do too, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget, you can find out more about the card sets by visiting those links in the description box. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.